be making basics. What's going on, y'all? Be making basics here. This is going to go over how to use the mixing template. Um, basically, you would come over here to the folder and double click on it, right click. Well, not right click, double click on it. It's going to open it up. Um, one of the first things you're going to want to do is go ahead and save it as uh, whatever the mixing, whatever you want to call it, but it's going to save it as this name. Go to file, go to save as template. And I already have it named in here, but she pretty much is to save it as this. Um, in my case, I will replace that name and it's going to be right here, ready to go. All right. The next thing you want to go ahead and do is come right in here and just take, click on the first track and just push the arrow over until you get to the very end. And what that does is this pretty much activates those plugins that are on here. As you look right here, you're going to see that the EQ is already added to a lot of these. So you're not going to necessarily have to worry about that. Okay. Um, that's pretty much already done for you, but you can come in here and adjust certain things if you need to. Then I also have some basic panning um, presets on here. So like um, you can adjust these if you need it. You also notice that everything is color coded. We have different uh, groups here. We got like our low end group. So we have 808 bass. Uh, we have a kick, snare, snare rolls, rims, claps. Then we have our percussion, like our hats, open shakes, stuff like that. Melodies, you know what I'm saying? Pianos, different things like that, pads. Then we got our samples and then we have a beat tag. All right, so now all these groups right here are all being bussed over to an auxiliary track okay and what that's going to do is allow us to control the sound better but we have the different groups here bass 808 kick snare percussion let's see it better melody samples beat tag and then these two are going to be uh reverb i have a reverb one and reverb two it's being sent over to these sins okay if you look right here this is sins it's being sent over here and you can basically have reverb for your like drums and then I have reverb set up for your melody and your samples. Obviously you can come in here, swap out reverb, swap out, you know, anything, adjust it to what your your liking is. But for the most part, that's what we got going on here. We also have some plugins that are grayed out. All right. Basically mean you have to add, activate it. Um, this adapter limiter, I do you can use that at the end of your whole process after you mix everything um spreader i have that on the uh, melody and all samples sometimes you want to make your sound sound wider you can play around with using that we have some compressors right here to help boost the signal just a little bit on these groups play around with using that or not and then over here on our bass we have a little side chain compression going here already activated for you so for the most part, what you would do with this, again, after you have, have everything saved as, you know, and the reason why you want to save it as before you get started is so that you'll have all of the original everything here ready to go. So like when you start dragging and dropping in, you know, you're going to be able to come and do that in a new session too. But anyway, what you want to do is just go ahead and click out of that, click out of that, and then go to wherever your stems are. Okay. So my case I have them right here so we'll just pick one of these YouTube beats I got going here right um, let me see here okay so this is a pretty good example it has um, well it has a couple of different sounds let me just see what though this is even better because it has like piano guitar and stuff like that okay so look what you'll want to do you can do this one or two ways. You can come straight in from the folder and drop it on over here, or it might be easier to just come in here and drag it into this gray area. That way you'll have everything right there. My bad for the background noise. All right, and then what you can do from here is like this 808, all right, boom. Move that right there and move that right on top of this 808. Then delete this one. 
move this over here by this kick and move it right on top of that kick track delete this other one you can kind of get the picture here this is kind of easy way to to do this put it there so now pretty much everything is inputted in here or imported I'll just come over here and delete everything else and we have our mix ready to go and then what you can do is do a save as and um, save the beat okay you name it something else but for the most part all you had to do is come over here and just get the proper levels so um, you can do it by group I always start off like with some of these uh, melody instruments so we pull up this piano and I also have this strategically placed right here so that you can instantly get for the most part around the hook area if you're not dead on into a hook area you can get to around one so I might need to change the actual BPM on this. Yeah, I think there's one over 120. I don't even remember what beat I put this on. I think this is a uh, two bus. One forty eight. So yeah, you want to make sure you set the BPM. Cool. So you just start bringing these up, bringing the levels up. So but then from here, you can come over here and adjust any of these things that you want. Um, another cool thing you can do here um, it's coming over here and adding some reverb so like I can come over here and say all right I want reverb on this like this little this clap right here turned out like that so you can do cool things like that Say if you want to reverb on this piano. Pretty much, man, y'all have all this access to you, um, or all this access to you. You can also come over here and look at the uh, levels. When the louder, you can come over here and move up the groups.
the little spread out. I want to boost that melody a little bit more. Always make sure this end marker is at the end of your beat too. It's a good tip. But anyway, y'all, you can come over here and re uh, save this. We can say um, whatever the name of the beat was. I think it was too uh, too blessed. And you can resave the name. You know, resave the beat. But pretty much after you have the beat saved, just come over here, bounce it down. Usually come over here and do 24 bit to 48. What that's going to do is allow us to, you know, either present this to somebody else who maybe purchases it on BeatStars, Airbait, or whatever, or your own website. And then they can use this file to record to it at 24-bit 